Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. In the last episode, we unfortunately had probably one of the worst episodes in terms of uh, actual, like, chance to win that we've had in quite a while. But anyways, we're going to be jumping back in, randomizing again. We got regular Azazel. I'm going to randomize again and see what we get. Yeah, we got Tainted Eve. I'm a bit more down with Tainted Eve. Um, Tainted Eve is a pretty tough character, but she's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, uh, if you were wondering why I had a run started at 1 minute and 30. Oh, hello. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. Wait. Oh, I'm a stupid. I should try and at least get one of these. Okay, you, you come over here. Dude! It... She's got such a slow fire rate. <laughs> I tried pushing the bomb, but her fire rate is so unbelievably slow that it was just like, oh, hell nah. I can't do that. But yeah, what I was going to say is, if you're wondering why... Oh my god, this... Honestly, Burning Basin might be the worst flaw possible for a character like this. Why, um... I, uh had a run that was already in progress. That's because I uh, did some tweaking to the Repentance Plus mod. Now, I wasn't able to do quite as much as, as I would have liked, just because some of the some of the code, it's not as easy to tweak as I was hoping, but some of it was, so I tweaked it. So uh, the flesh chests and a few other things now have a lower chance to spawn, like the spiked rocks down from a 25% chance to a, um, I believe, yum. Wait, oh, was that, I thought that was supposed to give us a heart. It definitely didn't. Um, but yeah, down from like a 25% chance to a 10% chance. Spike chests down from a 33% chance for a player. Spike chests um, down to a 20% chance. And payout chance from a 33% chance. Payout of an item at least. To um, a bit lower. So I've, I've, I've kind of been tweaking around with that. Um, and I, um, I did some tweaking. I completely removed the Enigma hearts, which are the ones that just give you a heart container, because I'm just not a fan of them. Um, and the Caprazius hearts, which are the uh, glitched hearts, as I call them. Um, I've just changed one little thing in them. The drop rate's still the same, but now they give you one random heart instead of three. So, they could give you half a soul heart, or half a red heart, or they could give you a golden heart, or a black heart. They can give you any heart in the game. And I think that's way, way better than, um, than it being three hearts, because it was just too powerful before. This is really risky, but I'm going to do it. Um, actually, it's not that risky, because I should be able to get this heart out of that, yeah. I was thinking that would be really risky, but it actually wasn't that risky. Um... Yeah, let's uh, go back through here. I kind of want to open one of these, but at the same time, I kind of like the idea of the trinket that was in this room. I can't remember what it does now, but I think it's... Um, chance teleports to Devil Deal on taking damage, yeah. Pretty heckin' good. I don't know how good that chance is, but it's good enough for me to want to take it. Should have tried to blow up that pot at the same time, actually. But yeah, Bloody Lust, pretty good too. Not the best of the best. We'll say it makes that character look pretty badass, though. Uh, one thing I'm unsure of right now, does using our unicorn stump give our cl our little clotty boys invincibility? Because if it doesn't, it's useless. Okay, so let's uh, let's sump and then um, re re get two of these bad boys out there just to refill their health a little bit. This is a very hard Larry room. There could, there could be some serious shenanigans going on right here. Just got to remember that Sump got changed, or at least the clots got changed to where we actually need to use Sump now to save them. Because uh, they will, uh, the health will diminish over time, meaning that we, that we have to uh, play around their current HP. It is a little tough, but we can do it. Like now, we've, we, we've, uh, they're both on low HP, so now we want to re-go for some more. I feel like I'm going to lose my clots here. Ooh, ooh, I accidentally used a bit too many there. Right, we can do this to fake, to create some, uh, extras. Although their health will be severely diminished. But good, good, we got that. Um, and yeah, we will go to the downpour. I like the downpour a lot. And now we don't have to risk our health too much here. Uh, and do you know what? Even even though um, 
I probably should take some time to uh, just go and speed to the next floor before my clots start to die. I'm going to uh, spend the extra time to get one of these chests, just because we have the uh, the means to do so right now, and it was very worthwhile. Okay, um, we can go boom, and boom, grab that, grab that. And we can even do... Actually, we should check out this. We should check out the shop. Glowing hourglass is interesting, but not really what we want right now. I like how they're all different sizes when, you, when you've got them all at different HP levels. It's funny. They look like a little family. Right, we can do one more as well. In fact, we can do two more now. In fact, we should destroy all these poops if they can give us drops. Okay, good. And then there you go. Grab that. Now we've got a little bit of a clot army. It does mean Sump is harder to use later, but it depends how many of these clots get, uh, like, how many of these we lose. But the thing is, they're now they're now freebies. We, we don't really care if we lose these. The only thing we lose is the damage they were giving us. Um, we don't lose any actual HP because we used um, HP that was on the floor to gain these fellas. Which is a, which is why the, the change to uh, making them slowly degrade over time to 1 HP is a very good one. Now, it does mean they can all be wiped in a single hit, but as long as you're using Sumptorium right, I don't think that's a big deal. You're gaining extra power. But how does this work? It's supposed to give us a red heart, but it clearly isn't working right now. Um, I think Ghost Pepper's probably the way to go here. It is luck-based, but I still think it's very good. Uh, I don't think we can fire more than one fire, although we fired one every shot so far, so... Yeah, we, everyone knows how good the fire is. It's very good. Stay away from my babies. I love Tainted Eve. She's such a fun character. She's She's got just the right level of amount of, like, uniqueness about her, in my opinion. So we can actually get yet another baby here. Does mean that we're trading spare HP that could be used for other stuff. But, at the same time, I don't mind that. Henry's just become a natural occurrence now, hasn't he? Okay, my clot boys are getting very, uh... Oh, they're getting away from me because they don't get affected by the water. So I need to be very careful. Um, nah, I think we're okay for the evil items held. I do need to figure out how we function with... Oh my god, he's almost dead. Um, the fires. They're so powerful. I do need to figure out how we function with the uh, stump, but at the same time, I don't want to test it. <laughs> so we can actually uh, go and get two more here. And we'll definitely go angel deal in this regard here, just because... I just don't see any reason to go to the Devil Deal, um, just because we're not going to be able to make heart trades. I know that a Trinket can teleport us to the Devil Deal, by the way, I'm aware of that. Um, if that happens, that's fine. But I'm not going to make the, the, the conscious choice to go there. Because it's just, this character, I wouldn't say she relies on having high red HP, she's not really like Tainted Maggie in that regard. But she does, she does use red HP a lot more than most characters have to. Um, it's kind of her life force, in a way. So, well, it's, it's every character's life force. That's, that was like the dumbest thing I've ever said. Um, but it's like it's like her power. It's her enabler. So I want to make sure that we, we have the opportunity to use that when we can. Um, crack the sky. It's probably better than our current active. Yeah, I'm going to say it is. I'm going to grab it. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Flight. Now, if we can get a bot... Wait, no. I was going to say if we can get a bomb, we can bomb it. No, we can't, because that's not a bombable... That's not a bombable area at all. Don't listen to me. Okay, these are the ones where our uh, our, our boys go to die. Because they're one hit from these little dudes. Yep. And we can't fucking... Okay, so today I figured out it can take you to your angel deal as well. Um... We've also got this, <laughs> the praying altar. Gives you passive item duplication. You will become haunted by the altar's fiend. Getting hit by them will grant one broken heart. You'll be haunted for the rest of the run. Well, doesn't that sound intriguing? Um, why not? Sounds terrible. Sounds like just a, a real bad idea. 
Okay, so it's it's basically what I thought. Why, why won't these fly? I don't I don't think I can kill these flies with this uh, with this current setup. Okay, I, I can. It's just a very very difficult. So this is going to be um, a much more focus heavy run than I was anticipating it being. Um, I, I don't know how to feel about the the whole ascending tiers thing, because they seem to ascend very far in front of me, which is making it very hard to hit enemies, which is not good for me. We'll, we'll see how this goes. It, do, they don't, it doesn't even do a damage to enemies either, so that's not good. It does mean we can do this, though. Please don't say it can kill my, uh, kill my babies, though. That would be... Just awful. Oh, didn't hit a single shot of that. That's just upsetting. But this is um, at least it only gives a broken heart. It's not like it's going to instantly turn us into the lost or kill us. That was a bad bomb. God, I, do you know? I genuinely think this tears from the sky item is kind of trash. It's, it gives you herming and stuff, but it, I think it's just because we've got really low tier rate right now, but it's really making it very, very difficult to, like, actually shoot things properly. I think it is our tier rate being so devastatingly low, but as you can see, extra item. Rather nice. Pair throw is pretty good here. Bacanas, whatever. Yera is... Yara's good, but I don't think we need it. Um, we we could try and get flight, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on that. Let's just get out of here. I really want to just get a fire out upgrade desperately. I'm hoping that we can get that pretty soon because oh, also I don't know when the altar demon's gonna actually show up. Okay, very very quickly, pretty much immediately. Oh god. That was a horrible, horrible room. <laughs> yeah, like, the tears just seem to take forever to hit. It's a super cool concept, but my god, it doesn't seem to work very well. I, th I think it is our tier rate, mainly, though. Ooh, we do actually get some, uh, some P-Boys here. Nice. Do you know what? This is a crack the sky sort of room. I don't think it hit anything. Good. Oh my god. Yeah, th this tier effect is going to be the bane of my existence for a little while, I think. It's going to be very, very difficult for me to really actually hit things. It did give me a damage up, though, which I appreciate. Okay. And also, we're just going to have to keep really just on our toes permanently. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to see this uh, altar fiend thing. Because um, this is something that we've had in our mod pack for a really long time. And I just haven't seen it yet. This is a really hard room with this tier modifier. I'm just ignoring my, uh, my Sumptorium babies right now. Not being able to hold fire as well is kind of screwing with me. Like, like, I'm trying to hit this dude, and I just can't, for the life of me, hit him. Making things oh so difficult. Okay, the fires, we're, we're basically at the whim of the fires. I'll say that for sure. If we don't get any fires, we don't deal any damage. I've made this unnecessarily hard on myself. Maybe what we need is range. Maybe the tears are just dying out before the, the long-range herming is able to really do its thing. Maybe that's the case. There's still another one of you over here. It's not good. Please, <laughs> Please go away. I'm having such a hard time. Thank you. Where's the enemy at? It's there. God damn, this tear rate. It makes my soul ache. Oh, God, no. Thank God that killed two of them. Because this room is a nightmare. 
Like, at the best of times, this room is awful. I... I genuinely might think we might be here for, like, six years. With this altar boy... Altar boy, that sounds... That's not, that's not what I meant, but... You, <laughs> Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have a hard time of this, aren't we? You're going to make this real difficult for me. Yeah, you got me hit there. All our boys going to be the death of us. Like, I don't, like, whether he's the one that hits us, I always forget these guys do full damage. Why do you start with such AIDS fire rate? Please just, we need, desperately need a fire rate from our boss. Okay. I don't much care about you, sir. I don't much care about you. Damn it, I didn't want coins. I really needed hearts there. Health is not good. God damn it. The fact that I can't even use him for damage actually makes him so much worse. Okay, so we did get passive items. Definitely pair throwing. Very, very glad I did that, because I got some great items. Like Lemon Mishap. Charges uh, activate items even if the room doesn't contain uh, any, any... Considering how good our um, trinket was earlier, I'm going to keep it. Oh, my God. Oh, my sweet Jesus. This is tough. At least we have some permanent babies now. Hell yes. Right. Um, first, there's an, there's an enemy in here. Ah, no, he's gonna kill me. I didn't realize there was an enemy in here. Okay, okay. Right. Um, Jove's Rags is pretty good. Uh, shots create light beams, damage up, tears down. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna do it. Ugh. Ugh. That's rough. Wait, is it just... Is it just holy light, but on every shot? Okay, that makes things a little better. I need HP. <laughs> I don't care. I need HP so badly. God damn it. Th th these rooms were not designed with Tainted Jacob in mind, or whatever you want to call this, biatch. Yum doesn't do anything, why? I needed to drop me a heart, I thought that's what it did. This is really, this is, this is like a really strong run that's going to come to a very sudden, soon, abrupt end. I know it. H how did that hit me? I just can't even with this. This is so stressful. Just just give me some hearts, please, game. <laughs> I really don't want this run to come to an end. My god. Oh, it's sick monstro! It's double sick monstro! What up, buddy? <laughs> Look at him go! Sig Monster is the best. I genuinely love this resprite. It's such a meme, but it's so fucking well done. Okay, one of them's dead. Pretty cool death animation. Okay, second one's dead. Please give me HP and tears. Okay, you gave me tears. I've already been into that devil deal. I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to check it anyways. Yep. Down to the next floor. We do get a massive tier bonus upon entering the next floor. That is pretty massive. That that That's actually kind of huge for us right now. I mean, it doesn't last forever. Holy fuck. This is... This this with a uh, high tiers is... Oh my god. So strong. Imagine if this run was fucking normal. Oh my god. Do you know what? Stars card. We need something... Forget me now, are you flippity kidding me? That's a half heart, it's something, it's a start, right, you better give me a black heart. You better give me a black heart. Fuck you. That didn't do anything, and these... This is so bad because these fires can hurt me. 
<laughs> this is just nuts. <laughs> Come on, game. I need more than this. Tinted rock. No! No! I'm broken hearted now. At least it's only one, but it is still one that I wasn't expecting. Oh, no! There's a- there's no- there's no escape! You little fucker! Who- who did this? Why do Globins deal full heart damage? Why did this run give me no fucking HP? Why did I keep getting hit? Why does Eve have such low tier rate? Why does this god fucking forsaken tier thing suck big dildos? God damn it, I'm so frustrated that I lost that run. That was a great and very fun run. 100% should not have taken the altar. 100% should not have taken the altar. But I don't give a damn. I did it and it was terrible. This is a very, very sudden loss, but the episode's over 20 minutes, and that's all I care about. <laughs> no, it's not. But that is kind of my... If I if I die before 20 minutes, I do another run. If I die after, I don't. What a crazy run. Some very interesting items. I know for a fact that I will take that altar literally every time it shows up. I just need to remember that broken hearts are bad, but they're not as bad as dying. Like, I, I was avoiding that man like the plague, and it was a good idea to do so, but it just didn't come together. I just, I can't fathom who the fuck thought T Tainted Eve needs tears that low. 1.2? Are you kidding me? 1.2? Like, just 1.8 would be like, f more, even 2.0 would be more than low enough. Nah. Nah, we're gonna shit on all her dreams. She's gonna be pummeled into the ground. God damn it. It just, it ruined that run. And yes, I could have played better. That globe in room, I made a massive mistake because I just, why, why have a room where there's little cubby holes you can get caught in and can't escape? I should have noticed, but at the same time, it shouldn't exist. I hated that. Oh, I really wish I'd have bought the jetpack. If I'd, have, if I'd have tried to play out the jetpack and buy that, I might have had a better chance here. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. This has been the ramblings of my death, and I'll see you guys in the next one.